Hi, and welcome to the Flurry tutorial on network mediation. In this video, you'll learn about the requirements for ad network mediation and how to set up a network waterfall for your campaign. To get the most from this tutorial, please already have an ad space set up. We have a separate tutorial video on how to do so if you need help. Let's get started. Ad network mediation allows you to show ads from multiple ad networks in one or more ad spaces. To use mediation with Flurry, there are a few requirements. First, you need to have an account with each ad network from which you want to receive ads. Flurry will not automatically create your accounts. Second, you want to make sure you're using the latest Flurry SDK. You can always find the latest version by selecting the download SDK link in the Flurry portal. Third, for each network you want to mediate, you must add that network's SDK and Flurry's adapter into your app. You can find detailed instructions on our support site, support.flurry.com. Alright, now let's talk through the most popular type of mediation, the network waterfall. The network waterfall allows you to specify a prioritized sequence of ad networks to call for each ad request. If the first network does not have an ad, the next network in the sequence will be called, and so on down the waterfall. Every new request starts over with the top network in the waterfall. Let's set one up. From within the Flurry portal, navigate to the Publishers tab, then select Add Setup, then New Campaign. Let's walk through this form together. First, select the campaign type as Network. Let's name this campaign Waterfall Interstitial. Now we need to set the priority for this campaign. Priority levels allow you to manage the delivery of several campaigns targeting a single ad space. You can choose a priority from 1 to 20. For this campaign, we'll leave the default priority setting of 10. Next, we need to set the goal for this campaign. This indicates the percentage of inventory that should be allocated to this campaign. We'll set the goal to 100% so all network impressions for the ad space go through this waterfall. On to network rotation. For this campaign, we have three networks we want to mediate. Flurry's RTB Marketplace, Millennial, and AdMob. Let's put them in the right order. Remember, you can only choose networks you have already integrated into your app. For network one, we'll select Flurry's RTB Marketplace. You'll see that you will not need to enter in a CPM as that will be provided by Flurry. For network two, we'll select Millennial. Enter in your CPM here. It will be used for reporting. If you don't know your CPM, you can put in an estimate and update it later. For Network 3, we'll select AdMob and enter in an estimated CPM of $0.75. Cents. Now let's move to targeting, which is an optional component of your campaign. With Flurry, you can target who will see ads based on a number of options. You can target by demographic, which includes age, gender, and Flurry persona. You can also target by a number of device characteristics, as well as by geography, Flurry segment, and keywords. Finally, select the ad spaces you want to show ads in for these networks. For this tutorial, we'll select Demo Ad Space. Select Save, and you're all set. Now each ad request will first be sent to the RTB Marketplace. If that doesn't return an ad, Millennial will receive the ad request and then AdMob. If no network in the waterfall returns an ad, Flurry will look for a lower priority campaign to fill the ad request. You'll see the campaign waterfall you just set up listed here on the campaigns page if you want to make any further edits. To see how your campaign and the individual networks in the waterfall perform, let's navigate to the reporting menu and select campaign. If you scroll down, you'll see all your campaigns listed. Select the specific waterfall, in this case waterfall interstitial, to view detailed reporting. That's it. Now you know how to use network mediation with Flurry. You can find more information on our support site. And if you need extra help, you can always contact us at publishers at flurry.com. Thanks for watching.